welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel support this channel by subscribing by the way do not forget to click the bell icon or the notification or hit the notification bell it will be the only way that will be updated when i upload a new video thank you for the support so far the returning subscribers the new subscribers i really appreciate it. thank you so much thank you so much remember we are looking at a road to 2000 subscribers and it's only your support uh, that we can be able to achieve this this mileage and supporting this channel in today's video we are going to see uh, the compulsions or we are going to talk about the compulsions between the two countries we're going to talk about security guards in the uae when we talk about the uae we are talking about the countries or this uh, the, the emirates that make up uh, the seven emirates that make up the uae we look at Sharjah, we look at dubai we look at abu dhabi we look at Adman, and all emirates that make us the uae but remember when we talk about the uae we are categorizing all the seven emirates together and again we are going to to have another compulsion with qatar remember both one of the things that we can talk about most of the uh, times now is that uh, most of them similarly are Middle East countries. The Middle East or what we call the Gulf countries. So that is one similarity that adds them together. So we can try to categorize them together in that way. But when you get to find, when you get to analyze and see how better they do things, is totally different or it can have a similarity they may have similar buildings, a similar architecture, but there is somewhere where there is a difference at one moment of time. And that is exactly that we want to see. That if you are to work as a security guard, which is the better place to go? Would you go to the UAE? Would you go to, would you come to Qatar? That is exactly what we have to say. Looking at the post-COVID era, we also don't have to get it out of our sight or we don't have to, to underestimate it at one moment of time. Remember, both of them are final destinations or both of them are hot cake destinations for security guards and jobs in, in, in the Gulf. We look at the cleaners, we look at the plumbers, we look at, uh, we look at uh, technicians, all are based all, or both of them are destination, favorite destinations for people looking to have something on the plate that is a little bit high and something that you need to understand still more on that is that both of them at the same time both uae and Qatar, the salary is tax-free unlike there is a clause that in the uae 2022 there was a new decree that was signed and they were going to, to do what we call they're going to start levying what we call uh, taxes on companies and what would it mean it would mean that even the indirectly the salary of the, the, the workers will be affected in one way or the other that is that is that is a, a assumption that is that side but when we generally have to talk about it is uh, generally we talk about it is that we have to say that the all tax free salaries you don't need tax as you worked it as you work it out is how it is given out to you and that is pretty very good because it's a kind of motivation that has put very many people away and wanting to come to this country uh, so but let us try to so much compare the difference because i think the difference when we try to look at the differences the differences will just give you us a clear judgment and when they give us a clear judgment we shall be able to differentiate and know that this country is better and this country is better in that way and in my opinion i may have my own opinion as a person but as we discuss this and we get through all these differences between the two countries then definitely at the end of it all you will also have your own judgment and your op opinion such that if you are planning to come to one of these countries you're planning to go to one of these countries you definitely know where to start from first of all let us first look at what are the benefits we look at some of the benefits of, of, of working in dubai or working in uae one first of all something that you need to know that dubai is one country in the Middle East with high payment of salary. It is one country in the Middle East where guards, security guards are well paid. I think that is okay. That is one one signage. 
it is where and it has more salary, it must higher salary paid compared to that other Gulf countries. Still also, uh, if we try to look at Dubai itself, Dubai, the level of professionalism is very high, especially for security guards. The level of professionalism is very high. Remember, for you to become a security guard in the UAE, you must undergo what called the seal of a PCBB training. You must have a license of a security guard. And what does it mean? If you get to go under uh, that training or that training license and you have that training uh, license, that means you'll be, you, you'll be getting higher salary at the end of the day, depending on which kind of training you've taken. Maybe for CCTV, maybe for ad, and if you have both license for the CIRA and PCTV and PCTV, DPS license, then that means you'll have more salary or you'll have bigger salary compared to other other. Uh, other guards and that is where one of the advantage comes in is that in the UAE uh, the level of professionalism is, is very high and leave alone the training when you get through what you call the security training itself it is just going to give you a lot of discipline uh, uh, it's going to teach you a lot of discipline it's going to teach you how to deal with the different groups of people and how to deal with what you call pressure stress and uh, and uh, definitely how to deal with all different characters at the end of it all. So, uh, for that, the level of pressure uh, professionalism is very high in Dubai um, because of training. Unlike when you look at Qatar itself, uh, Qatar itself, you look at Qatar, the salaries are, are, are not that uniform. And that's when we go back to look at the basic, we look at the basic minimum salary. We look at the salary that we are actually put, the basic salary was put in place by the government in March, uh, 22, uh, uh, March 20th March uh, 2021, whereby there was a, a uniform basic salary. But when you look at much as there is a basic uniform salary, but you find that there are some companies still at the end of it all, they may not when it comes to overtime calculation, it may not be uniform. And you may find to some situation whereby both of you are working in the same company, but you work the same number of days, but you end up getting different amount of money. So that kind of irregularity somewhere, it, it just gives you the problem that there's, there's something, something somewhere where things are not right. And still more to discuss on that is that it's color cutter which is still open. For you to come to Qatar as a security guard, you do not need a security training. You do not need papers that are experience, I should have experience of two years or four years, unlike in Dubai. You can still have the opportunity. And I think that is where most of, uh, most of the time it has become one of now another favorite spot uh, according to the Middle East or according to um, the people test because you do not need to have that kind of experience for you to come and join security at one day, uh, level. Yes, uh, then still we, we say, uh, we look at uh, both countries, definitely both of countries, they do have bigger opportunities for you. And uh, But at the same time, when we come to opportunities, I think Dubai has bigger opportunities at one or the other. Why do I have said Dubai has bigger opportunities? Because first of all, you look at Dubai has what you call the visa visa facilitation. They have the visa visa um, uh, slot, unlike where in Qatar. That when you go to a visa visa in Dubai, you can still, if you are well prepared and well set, you can still access the job. You can still get the job, and you may not even need to exit out of the country for you to, to start working on that journey. The internal process of transfer or, or transferring everything will just be internal and you still have to go and do your job. Unlike when you talk about Qatar itself, that uh, you find that uh, when you come on a visa visa, sometimes the requirements for the visa visa in Qatar they need to be very high. And you find that why they tend to deter people that most of the time that people who come to work, they come under what you call um, the company sponsorship, what we call the work visa sponsorship, uh, you're being sponsored by someone else, meaning that you need to a little bit to start from 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 what you've got at that time until you can go further and improve yourself in one way or the other. And originally, uh, definitely, uh, um, recently when you look at Dubai, uh, the labor, the labor, those new labor laws that we are introduced where someone can even work what you call um, 
part time can work up to you know, hours uh, unlike in Qatar where all duty has to be full time duty according to the Qatar labor laws and how all that exists in the country so you 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 find that uh, you find that you definitely uh, have that uh, in one way or the other and uh, another thing is that uh, another thing is that uh, when you look at a country where you have to save or country where you think that you need to save some amount of money for yourself i think Qatar is better compared to dubai because Qatar is a little bit strict and rigid so uh, uh, things that will take out your money or take out part of your a bigger portion of your salary as you receive it they are very minimal uh, when you talk about the excitement areas the beaches the city how to travel how to go you, you may end up that you, you're being infringed in one way or the other and that would enable you to save unlike in Dubai where most of uh, the life is free there are very many amusement parks and very many uh, areas that you can travel to without even being refused by someone so probably you find yourself that you have much time enjoying than anyone who's working together in one or oh. oh, the other at the same time and that's pretty very good that at one moment of time and um, uh, when, when you when you look at uh, still uh, uh, when you look at uh, in the level of accommodation, when we can talk about accommodation and security welfare, I think better better we can say that uh, uh, Qatar is better than, uh, uh, no, we say Dubai is better than Qatar in, in terms of facilities uh, uh, facilities for security guards. Uh, it's, it's where in Qatar maybe, you may have, uh, let's say for example, uh, we look at Dubai itself, a lot of big companies there out there and they will definitely look on to that kind of competition whereby everyone will be like this company's base and like when you look at Qatar itself it is where you go to accommodation and security uh, core security guards accommodation and you may find there's no washing machine mm. you find everything static or on one way or the other uh, cleanliness is zero so probably and that one also gives it an upper hand to say that it is a little bit better to be in Dubai than and uh, being in Qatar or way, but definitely when we look at also when you look trying to look at what you call opportunities at the time right now is uh, also Qatar has opportunities because why because we have what you call the FIFA World Cup uh, Qatar 2022 so you definitely say there's a lot of opportunities for security guards there's a lot of opportunities for cleaner so also it becomes a final destination it becomes a very good destination for people right now to do uh, their work or to look for work at one or the other which is pretty very good at one or the other so you find yourself uh, one way being succeeding and uh, Win. Then still when you look at um, ways of how career development, we look at ways how you can definitely develop yourself career-wise, uh, uh, career we look at Dubai is a little bit better because there's a lot of opportunities that are being put for you on plate to choose from, there's a lot of big companies you can choose from and what kind of things, uh, courses or even internally. When you look at some companies are pro uh, providing internal training or internal promotions or advertisement to its employer to be affiliated or to be empowered in one way. Unlike in Qatar where it's a little bit diverse, you're being infringed by your, 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 your employer in one way saying who takes custody of you and who takes to think for anything that comes in one way. So definitely you find that it's a little bit comes a little bit case a little bit very hard in one way or the other. Alright. Uh, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, at least I've tried to share for you. So let it be your op opinion. Uh, but I would think my own opinion. I think if I was given it an opportunity right now to go back where I started from, then definitely I'll choose Dubai as the better uh, destination for my security that job because of the opportunities that are there and uh, how definitely you can maneuver through maneuver yourself through other opportunities and other trainings that you can achieve at the same time. And like when you have in a friendly scatter, uh, which is pretty very not good at one more time. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely, that's when you talk about that. I hope I've tried to share something for you. And if you have, if you feel you have anything that I've not talked about, uh, uh, something I've not discussed, or anything that you need to add, get in the comment section below. Then you can try to add or you can try to put a comment question. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. Don't forget, mix from the mix.
creation team. See you again in the next video as we try to see more, more of the other developments along the way. Thank you so much.